two, part two, I'm going to talk to you about how to start the engine up and turn the engine off correctly. Um, before we start the engine, we get onto the bike. You don't start the engine off the bike. So to mount the bike, you should you should put a brake on before you you sit on the bike uh, or mount the bike. And the reason is you don't want your bike moving while you're trying to sit on the bike. And you'll notice the bike leaning to this side. This is the side we access the bike. We don't go the other side, otherwise your bike could lose balance because this is where the stand is. So the stand holds it. So you've got three points here of contact, front wheel, rear wheel, and your bike stand. Um, so a bike is fairly secure. So we're gonna make it even more secure by holding this front brake. And this way, this bike's not moving anywhere. So now the bike is solid and steady. We can then get onto the bike. Once you're on the bike, sit up. I've still got my brake on notice and you pull this kickstand up. With the kickstand, if the kickstand's down, you can't start the engine. So very, very important that you get the kickstand up. Kickstand down, the engine's not gonna work. It's a safety feature of all these automatic bikes. So get the kickstand up. Now you notice, with the keys locked, if the key is in a locked position, the steering is actually locked. So what I'm gonna do is turn the key, till I get the steering unlocked. Once I've got the steering unlocked, I can then get myself in a nice comfortable position. Now, if you come in a bit closer, so once the steering is in an unlocked position, and you can actually park your bike like this, and in a lot of busy areas like shopping centers, people do park their bikes because sometimes you need, somebody might need to move your bike. So just say somebody's parked behind you or you're parked behind them, they may want to move your bike for you. So uh, often, particularly here so like in Thailand uh, or Cambodia or Vietnam, often people, they'll, they'll, they'll um, park their bikes with the steering unlocked and you can actually take your key out in this unlocked position. But recommended for safety and security to lock this. So, you, so no one's going to take your bike. It's a, it's a yeah, security feature. Okay, so once you've got your key in, and you've unlocked your steering, and you're sitting nice and comfortably, turn the key until you get some lights on. Now, this is now ready for starting. Now, just notice what happens. The lights will go through kind of like a sequence. We call this the startup, or the, yeah, the, the, the startup ignition sequence. Now, what it's doing, your bike is actually doing quite a few. The, the, the computer system in your bike is doing some, some checks. So when you turn your key on, this happens in cars, trucks, and motorcycles. When you first turn the key, just wait a moment for it to go through its ignition sequence. So you'll notice the change there. So don't start your bike up until your, your dashboard has finished doing its thing. Now it lights up and it does some, some kind of uh, checks, checks of oil, checks of brakes, and things like that. Okay, the blue one is my high beam light. For some reason, I've got my high beams on. You'll notice this is the flashing one. So you see here, before I even take off, I'm just checking the dashboard, checking that um, that the ABS the ABS light in this bike it's got ABS anti uh, anti lock braking systems. Now it's not working. It's flashing to say that the ABS is not functioning right now. So that's because I'm stationary. So anti lock braking system does not work when you're stationary. When you start moving, this light will go off, and it it, it now it's then working. It will then function. Uh, before we go, we make sure we've got some fuel. Uh, so this is the ignition sequence. Uh, after we've done that, we then put our hand, uh, one, our hand on a brake. And the one that we use is the rear brake. Uh, so the bike is actually secure now. So I've done through the ignition sequence. My rear brake is on, the bike is not moving, and it's now that we can actually start. If you do not have a brake on, you can't start. It's a safety feature. So the bike, the manufacturers made the bike so that you need to have a brake on. You also need your kickstand up before you can start the bike. So my, my key is in the ignition's ignition position, and this button here is the starter. And you just press it until the engine goes, and then you release it. So that's the startup function. To stop the engine, you just turn the key. I'll do that one more time. So ignition. Go through the, let the bike go through the ignition sequence, press the starting button, that's how you start your bike up. Now when it comes
comes to stopping your motorcycle, a couple of things that are important. If, you, if you're coming into park, what some beginners do is they put their kickstand down a little bit early. As soon as you put your kickstand down, the engine will die. Now, for safety, security and control, it's best to stop, position your bike, turn the key off with the engine, and this actually is, uh, you'll see a lot of um, manuals, the motorcycle manuals will tell the, the owner to use the key to stop the engine, not the kickstand. Now some bikes also have a kill switch, so there's a button where you could kill the engine. This Vespa doesn't actually have one. Um, they're used for mostly emergencies. So the, the train of thought is you don't use your kill switch to turn the engine off and you don't use your kickstand. You actually stop your bike, position it, Turn it off with the key.